Well, good morning to you. Thursday again, Cornish Monday. I hope everybody's all right. Weather's handsome, isn't it? Evening, well, evening is pulling out lovely now. I say I'm now actually picking, believe it or not, cucumbers um, from in the in the greenhouse. So it's lovely. So uh, anyhow, Royal Cornwall show from today, tomorrow, and Saturday. And of course, Hale Carnival is this Saturday. Um, what meet meet up the recreation ground there for about four o'clock. Judgeons at five o'clock, and the parade starts six o'clock. So. Anybody, just get in and let's, let's enjoy it. Let's, let's make it a, a positive thing for all of us. Now, birthdays, I got an apology to Gillian Ether. I am sorry, Gillian. I know I didn't get your message till Monday afternoon, but your granddaughter, Lauren, was her 21st birthday on Sunday gone, June the 5th. So I hope she had a good day. That's all I can say. I hope she enjoyed herself. Now, our Stephen, Stephen Cochran, today is his birthday. Um, have a day off day, boy, and just relax a little bit. Take care. And our other dear friend is Liz Lloyd, lived down near Crowless. It's her birthday tomorrow. So I hope she have a good day as well. Now that's all that. Now I'm going to do one here day called the bungalow. Time for you stop now, I says to Feather. You've done not for one day. Painting skirt and said no easy job. Comes on, my handsome. Have a drop of tea. I'm going to have a cupful too now myself. All right then, by when I finish this room for the week's out, Feather got upon his feet and followed me into the kitchen and sat down to the table. You know what, Maid, he says. We don't want to get out like this now the children is married and gone. Mean it, do we, boy? I asked him. I fancy a little bungalow myself, one like my little cousin Mavis up a more got. You know, you do he. Yeah, suit me, he says. No hurry, mine. But if we'd a see one like like we like against, I'd retire. It'll be all right with me like a thing. That was enough for me. A wink is as good as a nod to a blind horse, as my old mother used to say. When I see the handsome little bungalow with a for sale sign in front of him, I stopped to have a look at him. Everything about him was spick and span, dear little garden and all. Had a lavender bush and pile of flowers in him, neat as ninepence he was, of course. We didn't have to buy first house we seed, but no harm to have a look at him. Strike while the iron's hot, so to speak. I lifted up the shiny brass knocker. A better most sort of woman opened the door. Bit younger me, I should think. I'm Mrs. White, she says. Come in. You're welcome to look around. Her scruffy looking little mongrel appeared from nowhere and went in with me. First thing he done was cock his leg up inside the derns of the door. I was some shocked, but didn't say nothing to this missus. She didn't say nothing neither, but she looked some put out and, and made ass and fetch a floor cloth. I had a quick geek round while she was gone and seed everything was like a bandbox. Some grand furniture she had too. Mrs. White showed me in the front room with a handsome get fireplace. I could just see Jan squared out in front of him in a new armchair. He would have to have a new armchair in a grand place like this. The dog come in and wallowed on the carpet and pulled the cream-coloured settee. The missus frowned upon him and steered me into the kitchen quick. Light and hairy walls, all modern and shiny. A little fluffy white cat was there eating some meat, but ran away quick when he seed the dog follow us in. He entered the cat's plate quick, then started to push the empty plate around the floor. Mrs. White went red, red in the face and opened her mouth to speak to him, but turned to me instead. Do we want to go upstairs, she asked, bit steph like I said I would as we mounted the stairs. That darn old dog run up in front of us, rest around the bedroom like a maze thing, scattering mats on everything else all over the place. Then he thought himself on the bed and wallowed all, and wallowed all over the white satin bedspread with a woman suddenly bark out in tears. Take your beastly old dog and get out of my house quick, she cried. I looked upon the poor soul like a fool. It my dog, I told her. I thought it was yours. Should have scatting if it was mine. Her face went a funny shade of purple. What? she screeched. I called that downright insult. How dare you suggest I would have a mangy looking creature like that in my house? Her tears dried up quick. Oh, I didn't mean it. I stuttered. I was going to ask you how much you wanted for your house. A pretty take that was. She drawed herself up to her full height and looked quite haughty. I wouldn't sell toy for a million pounds, she said. Don't I want to sell, I asked her, feeling a bit shaky this time. Not to you, says she. I'm particular who I sell my house to. There's plenty of better people waiting to buy a little nice little bungalow like this. She pushed me out through the door and was hollering so much she frightened the dog and he flied off down the road and disappeared. Quick. Don't suppose for one minute he gnawed how much trouble he caused she and me. 
father had some fun over him. When I told Noel the ploy that evening after dinner, I had no laughing matter, I told him. I do like that little bungo. Oh, no booty, he says with a bit of fun in his eye. I aren't thinking of retiring next week, and we haven't put this house up for sale yet. No, I haven't got that little bungalow neither, but was exactly what I had in mind, I told him. I done all mad, he says. I sounded a bit too grand for we. Anyhow, I couldn't have been meant, it couldn't have been meant for he. He was, if he was, you would have had him. He's plenty more houses going, old booty. One day you'll come across what that's meant for him, and you'll be just as pleased with him. You see if you don't. I had laughed after all, because what Jan said reminded me of that old song, Gay Sirrah Sirrah, whatever will be, will be. I expect he's right too. I did get carried away a bit sometimes. Now look, take care. Have a nice weekend.